Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a quick tour of the AccuWeather Platinum app. This app is my go-to app for weather information. And in fact, I visit it about four or five times a day. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's what I do. Uh, the AccuWeather Platinum app has no ads. There is a free version that pretty much has all the same features, except it does serve you ads. So highly recommend it. There are lots of weather apps available but this one, I've tried them all, and this one is the least cluttered and the most information. So we're opening it up here, and it comes up on Los Angeles. And notice the first thing we see is a severe weather alert. So I want to check those out real quickly. And it says, hey, you got a red flag warning, fire weather, and also beach hazards, which probably has to do with... Uh, uh, some sort of tide condition or rip tides or something. The thing is, I don't care about these. I can get more information by clicking on, let's say, the red flag, and now I read all this stuff that the National Weather Service has put together for the red flag warning. But I don't live near the mountains. I don't near, live near the beach. So neither of these conditions are going to affect me. So I'm going to go ahead and just look at the rest, saying, hey, fog's going to be in the area. We got your pollen forecast. And here's our summary of today's current weather right now. Notice that the we have the 68 degrees with the real feel of 73. And of course, you get this all. I'm going to go back to that opening screen. You don't even have to touch anything to get all of this. The actual temperature is 68 degrees. The real feel is 73. So that means that when the perception that I have of the outside air and conditions mean that it's about five degrees warmer, so I might want to dress accordingly. We've got reasonably low humidity, UV index right now, whether I need sunscreen or not. Uh, it's moderate, so I should maybe think about some sunscreen. As I get down through here, up come the allergy forecast, and this is really useful too. I'm going to click through those. We've got mold, tree pollen, ragweed pollen, dust and dander, grass pollen, and so forth. If I want to look at those for the next seven days, a little graph comes up. Because all of them are low, they're all gray barred out as we look through there. You just see gray. But we got good air here today, so and no precipitation for at least 120 minutes. Everything's clear and peaceful for us here in L.A. today. So let's look at the hourly forecast. Let's say I'm going to be uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm going to be out there in the park, or let's say I'm going to play soccer. And notice I look at that 3 o'clock hour, and I see there that it's 93 degrees is the actual with the real feel of 96. So that means I better bring plenty of water and be ready. I want to know more about that, so I'm going to click on the arrow there. And here's what's going on. There's a little bit of wind, which is going to help. The humidity is clear down to 16%, which explains that red flag warning, fire danger. So this tells me... I'm going to need lots of water to drink out there if I'm going to be playing with a real feel of 96 and humidity of only 16%. I'm going to be burning through the water. And so we get this hourly temperature and I say, okay, tonight, shall I run the air conditioner or shall I sleep with the windows open? And if I go through this, I see that at 5 a.m., which is usually about the lowest, the real feel is 67 and the actual is 69. So maybe I can just turn off the AC and sleep with the windows open tonight. Now let's look at the daily. Clicking on daily, uh, notice I've, there's a little button up here. The button goes minus and plus. So you can get less information, which is a total summary of each day. Hot, 9367, high and low. By pressing the plus though, I've got the daytime high, sunrise, and the nighttime low, and the sunset and the conditions for the day and for the night. So you got hot in the daytime, clear at night. We go through here. I just, I'm going to roll forward, see if I get anything. That's the trouble with Los Angeles. It's just beautiful weather. Anyway, so we looking forward. We can look out across the next few few days up to about three weeks into the future. So And then radar. We can see this is past radar here. If I press this little thing that looks like a stack over here, I can look at future weather, that is future radar. So I've chosen that, press the play, and here from, here we go, from 9.45, 10.15, 10.45, 11.15, 11.45, there's two hours 
of future radar. And unfortunately, there's nothing new, nothing happening, no clouds because everything is so dry here. But we would be displaying cloud patterns if we had the chance there. A lot of different things we can choose here. You got the watches and warnings. This shows us where the beach hazards are as well as the high fire danger in that area in the Los Padres National Forest. Another map is the uh, AccuCast map, and uh, there's nothing there. So all of those conditions, rain, ice, and so forth would be visible. And then finally, there's this, the satellite we could also display from 7 o'clock on. You can see there's some fog clearing there that was up in the mountains, but that's about it. Okay, so let's go back here to the Los Angeles in general. Well, I got some relatives in Pittsburgh, so let's click on Pittsburgh a minute. Here's the conditions in Pittsburgh right now, 68, 68 real fuel. They've got a humidity level of 78%, and rain starts in 115 minutes, so let's check that out. There's that little minute-by-minute minute forecast that I was telling you about, and at 240, exactly 240. You know, it may not be right to the minute, but you know, it's a, you can see that you're not going to, if you're traveling outside in the next hour or so, you don't need an umbrella until about, you know, two o'clock local time there. So it can help you get prepared as well. I'm going to go back. Now I want to add, let's say I know somebody in Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm going to add that. And it's just that simple to add Indianapolis. Where did you go? There you are. So I switch. And now I'm getting all of that same amount of details that I got for Los Angeles and Pittsburgh. Up it comes. And that's all there was to it. Their rain starts in 11 minutes. And look at that. It gets heavy. As I move through here, I see I got a heavy rain coming a little bit after like 120 it says up there so I can scroll kind of through that circle and pretty much anticipate when I'm going to get whacked with rain now I've tried this in LA during our rainy season by the way this thing really works it's uh it's within five five minutes or so so <laughs> that's pretty darn granular for a weather app um, so this is just as easy to remove I want to get rid of Indianapolis so it's just as easy to remove it from my listing and I also want to well I'm just gonna get rid of Ocala Florida here so I highlight it and get rid of it Pittsburgh appear first in my listing I go over here and just roll it up and now it's gonna be my first choice I click done and when my app wakes up it's gonna come up on Pittsburgh Okay, this just in. I'd like to share with you a couple of new features that rolled out while I was doing the editing. The first one is by pulling down this opening screen, you get a summary of in one line there, 21 degrees colder than yesterday's high of 79. So boom, I got a little bit of information already if I'm in a big hurry and don't want to poke around. So, and of course, you still have all the other stuff there that we had demoed before. I'm going to click on hourly and you notice here we've got that summary which we demonstrated before, the hour-by-hour hour forecast. But pressing this little chevron brings down a graph. So here, notice the little button up here in the top, uh, top left, is set for umbrella or precipitation. So in green, you got the precipitation. And you can scroll through there and see that by, throughout the afternoon, we're going to need an umbrella. But by this evening, it looks like it's going to be all over. I'm going to go back up to the top left there of this thing and press the thermometer and now I see the regular temperature and the real feel. Again, scrolling through, we can see what's what. So, very cool. A couple of nice little enhancements. Again, AccuWeather doing their very best to take tons of information and make it readily available for you at a glance. So, great little app loaded with information and when you consider how much information that weather apps have to sift through and provide you. The genius is not in finding you a lot of information. The genius is in making it easily accessible. And that's what this great little app does for you. So highly recommended the AccuWeather Platinum if you don't want ads or just get the free version, the uh, AccuWeather app. 
in your Play Store or your Apple Store. So download it, activate it, and be ready for any kind of weather that nature has coming your way. Enjoy! <laughs>